Talking of all you perverts, it was a big year. It was a big year for our movies. Um, surviving R. Kelly, leaving Neverland, two popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. Spoiler alert. Um, season two is on the way, so in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up! I know he's your friend, but I don't care. <laughs> Once upon a time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... <laughs> Ricky Gervais is an actor and comedian known for having balls of steel. He will literally say whatever is on his mind without caring whether or not people will like him for it. He will make jokes that no other comedian will. Yes, he has received a lot of backlash for that, but he has received more praise for saying things that no one else would. This was the case at the 77th annual Golden Globe Awards, held in 2020. He made jokes for eight straight minutes. So, I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking, I never did. And even though the room was filled with awkward laughter throughout the whole time, fans seemed to enjoy every bit of it. I mean, the remarks were great with many positive comments. However, by doing this, he might have just sacrificed his career. Well, was it worth it? And better yet, has he said anything about why he sacrificed his career to expose Hollywood? Let's find out, shall we? In the history of the Golden Globes Awards, there has never been a controversial opening monologue like the one done by Ricky Gervais in the 77th annual Golden Globe Globes Awards in 2020. He literally took a shot at Prince Andrew, Jeffrey Epstein, and woke Hollywood in general. After delivering the most controversial speech in history, Ricky Gervais later revealed the motives behind the TV moment. Remember, they're just jokes. We're all gonna die soon, and there's no sequel. So... Even though there were about 200 people in attendance, the show was seen by more than 200 million people worldwide. Ricky Gervais was talking to the Series Linked podcast when he said, Do I pander to the 200 egos in the room or the 200 million people watching around the world? And there's no contest. I know what I'm going to say. I'm not there to ruin their night. I'm there to make the people at home laugh. The actor, who was hosting the awards ceremony for the fifth time, claimed that the ceremony was just a perfect opportunity for him to use his best jokes in front of a once-in-a-lifetime audience. He later talked about how he had to write seven minutes of his best jokes, which he will probably never use again. He said, it's a lot of work for seven minutes, but the payoff is amazing. I mean, there's no audience like that. However, even after all that, he never showed any signs of remorse or regret for what he said. He hit back at criticism leveled at him because of the speech. And to all those who criticized him, he said he was just playing a brash character in his role as host. The actor also compared himself with David Brent and Tony, who are characters. Referring to his critics, he mentioned that they were unaware that his stand-up persona and his character at the Golden Globes were partly an act. He portrayed a bold character there, intent on disrupting the evening for the liberal elites. He emphasized that he had meticulously crafted those jokes to be perfect. But what exactly did he say during the award ceremony? The 77th annual Golden Globes Awards were held in January 2020, and the audience, both in the venue and at home, was in for a surprise. The moment Ricky took the stage, he started his attack on woke Hollywood. But there is more. He also joked about Jeffrey Epstein, Harvey Weinstein, and Prince Andrew. He also touched on topics such as Me Too and ISIS. The moment he started talking, the A-list audience was wincing, but it gets better. Stars like Tom Hanks, Robert De Niro, and Gwyneth Paltrow were all left with stunned looks on their faces when Gervais mocked Felicity Huffman over the college admission scandal, branded James Corden a massive, and ripped Judy Dench for licking her own private parts in the speech. He mentioned a lot of uncomfortable topics and things, all of which received nervous laughter from the crowd. However, there were also moments of bluntness. One such moment was when Ricky Gervais advised those receiving the awards to avoid making political speeches. He told them they were in no position to the to the public about anything before adding, if you win, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your God, and off. The British comedian, having previously stated that this would be his final time hosting the awards, criticized the attendees. He commented that even though they claim to be socially conscious, the practices of the companies they associate with in China, such as Apple, Amazon, and Disney, were astonishing. He further insinuated that if ISIS were to launch a streaming service, they'd probably reach out to their agents. 
Immediately after the award show was over, people on social media started showering their praises to Gervais for taking down the Hollywood establishment without fear. In addition, a lot of people loved the uncomfortable reactions that were coming from those in the room. However, some found Gervais's jokes a bit hard to stomach. Piers Morgan congratulated the comedian on his finest eight minutes. However, according to a review of the night in the Chicago Sun-Times, Gervais was so intent on congratulating himself for being edgy that he forgot to be funny. There were a few shocking moments in the monologue, such as when Gervais remarked about the death of pedophile billionaire Jeffrey Epstein. He commented that Afterlife is a show about a man who wants to kill himself. Spoiler alert, season two is on the way so he didn't kill himself, just like Jeffrey Epstein. A huge gasp from the entire audience met this remark. However, he doubled down on the remarks, saying, Shut up, I know he's your friend, but I don't care. For those who are feeling a bit confused, Epstein was found dead in his cell at the Metropolitan Correctional Center, New York, in August of 2019. At the time, he was awaiting trial for numerous offenses. When an autopsy was done, it was found that he had hanged himself. Gervais also made another shot at Felicity Huffman, who was jailed for her role in the college admissions scandal that year. Huffman had just completed an 11-day stint in jail after pleading guilty to paying $15,000 to get one of her daughters into college. I just wanted to help kids and families. I lost my ethical value and have so much regret. That is what he said. Gervais mentioned that they had come there in their limos and added that he had come in a limo whose license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. He further remarked that he felt sorry for her daughter, suggesting that the situation was even more embarrassing than her father being in Wild Hogs. Many in the audience responded with surprised laughter, and Tom Hanks appeared taken aback. The comment was somewhat cheeky, yet humorous. Gervais, who has also never hosted in the hashtag MeToo era before, took a shot there. He commented that there were a wide variety of stars in the room, and they all had one thing in common. They're all afraid of Ronan Farrow. New Yorker writer Farrow was one of the key players in outing sexual misconduct in Hollywood and exposing disgraced producer Harvey Weinstein. New Yorker dropped a bombshell story Sunday night of a second woman accusing Judge Brett Kavanaugh of lewd behavior some 30 years ago. Later in the show, Gervais introduced a clip for the film Bird Box. He described it as a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing, sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. However, Gervais was not going to stop his mockery there. He also mocked what he referred to as pedophile movies. He said, talking of all you perverts, it was a big year for pedophile movies, surviving R. Kelly, leaving Neverland, the two popes. He paused for a bit to laugh at his own joke as the crowd gasped and let out nervous laughter. However, he followed this up by reminding them he doesn't care. After all, he opened his monologue by telling them he doesn't care since it will be his last time hosting the awards. Gervais was leaving no stone unturned, attacking as many people as he could. He even attacked Academy Award winner Leonardo DiCaprio and made some fun of the age gap between him and the women he dates. Many people praised him for all he did that night. Others claimed that it has been a long time since someone spoke up about the things happening in Hollywood. Do you think that this was a risky move for Gervais's career? Feel free to let us know in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more celebrity gossip and updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.